Well, Lucius has arrived. I was getting a bit worried um, because deliveries were from 8 to 12.30 and it was 12.31 when he got delivered. So I was starting to worry that he wasn't going to arrive. Big box, as you can see, which is good. Plenty of space. DC Freshwater Fish is where I got him from. Let's have a look. Okay, I've got everything I need. I've put a bit of water in there, and then I'll add the bag to that, and then the water in his bag to that as well, to help to climb times a little bit. I might add a bit more water from the tank to there for a little bit of time. Um, and then pop, pop him in the big tank. Let's go, hope he's all right. Got to him, sure he's one-handed. He shouldn't got to worry about heat packs and things like that because he's a cold water fish, so. Ooh. Cool, nice big bag. Full up with air. Yep. Here he is. Swimming around well. I won't be able to float with that bag in. <laughs> I think I might float that. You can see him. I might I might float that in in the tank for a bit. Oh I could put it that way around, couldn't I? What on mate? Did see a little bit of damage on him a little bit. Caught him. I know, I, I know they're long and thin. I, just, I mean, I've been pike fishing many times. Oh, he's having a good look at me. Those air pumps going mental over there. Can you hear it? Yeah, I've been fishing for pike many times. Caught a 14 pound pike once. Um, so they know, I know they're long and thin. Let's get this open. Try and do it like Cory. Cory and Cork. Which I can't do. Let's go and get some scissors. So let's um, cut this off. Looks like he's double bagged as well, which is good. They like normally do. Been full up, filled up with oxygen as well, which is good. Hold on, let's pop you up here a minute. And I'm much like you can see, to make sure you can see something. He's got some damage on his back, but I think he's come out of the lake, so not unusual. That's the smallest pike I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's 
cool. That is so cool. Let's try and set my tripod so you can see better when I get them out. I cancel that idea with a tripod. I'll do it in my hand. I might have to soundproof these air pumps. The sun's come out and they're making a hell of a noise. Might only happen in the daytime. Hope you can see okay. Woo. Sweet. Let's do it this way because his head's that way. There you go. Swam out swim out the back. Nice. I don't want to stress him out too much. I'll leave him in there for a little bit. Yeah, he's got some damage to his back, but that'll soon heal up. Oh, cool, you want cool, yeah. Eyesight's very good, just like piranha. He reacted to my movement then. I don't want to stress him out too much. Beautiful. My my dad says I got a, I'll have a collection of a big collection of ugly fish, but for me they're beautiful. He used to keep Japanese koi in that, and, but to me the predatory fish are beautiful in their own way. Don't you dare try and jump out. Let's get him up there, just in case he does. Get him floating in the water. And I've left him here for a bit. I'm gonna hand him out into the water. Um, let's be interested and see how much he struggles. No, he's all right. So far. Let's get him out quick. Is that damage on his top? Hmm, I might have to put the water in. Cool, well fast. Well, I know they're fast. <laughs> um, yeah, it's an auto water change system, so. Well, I'll see if I can get him out. Woo. Here you go, he's in. Now I did say to myself, when, when I get him in, I'm going to be nipping out this afternoon and get some fake weed. That I'm going to float on the surface like I do indoors, but I'm also going to have some weighted ones that are at the bottom as well. Something for him to go to swim around and go up against and what have you. So I'll be getting some fake weed today. I just got to get this dribble system going now. Just turn it on. Just slightly, that might be enough. A bit more. Start coming through a bit better in a minute. But I will probably be, well, I will be turning that up a little bit. He's in. <laughs> Turn it up a bit. Right, feeding wise, 
Yeah, I'll turn up again in a minute. A bit. Yeah, feeding wise, I'm not going to try and feed him for a couple of days because my experience with pu with um piranha is once they've been in that bog at box and that and they've been stressed out and what have you, they're not going to be over keen on feeding. They got to get used to their environment. I'll definitely get some weeds this afternoon and drop them in. Um, <clears throat> but I should try him in a couple of days. I am going to try and get him onto dead bait if possible, dead fish. But if it proves he just won't take it, I might have to go and buy some little fish, a live fish, and pop them in here to swim around so he can sort of help himself. It's just the way it is. But there you go, he's in. Might turn up a bit higher. Hopefully it'll all start coming out of that hose in the drain as well in a bit. Air pump's doing well. But Lucius, he's got in his new home.